Hey, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm a second year biomedical engineering student at university. In today's video I am going to be showing you how I have set up my bullet journal for my new academic year. And yeah, let's just get started. Here I'm just giving you an overview of what pens I used for colouring in, etc. I also wanted to show you that I only planned for one week in September because my term doesn't actually start until October so that was just a little overview of it. Here I'm just writing out my monthly overview so it's basically just a list of numbers and then um, the letter of the day of the week beside it and I basically just use it to write in if I have any like days that I need to block out or if it's like someone's birthday or something it's just so I have a nice uh, overview of the month. And there's me just making a mistake you know as I normally do. Yeah, like I mentioned before, I just write a list of the dates and the day of the week that those, that date is and then just block in anything that I need to. When I was bullet journaling in high school, I used to actually make like a block calendar. During uni time, I don't have enough time to write out a whole block calendar because I've got to use my ruler and everything for it. So uh, yeah, I've kind of just moved on to this sort of list idea. Here I'm just adding a little box that says uh, next month, so if I get any homework that's due the next month then I can just add that in there and then look back on that when I'm doing next month's spread. Here I'm starting on my homework and tests or assessments uh, spread. In this, I basically it's just a table. I write the date and the task that I have to do by that date, and that's basically it. it's quite self-explanatory. But it gives me some place to record my homework when I get given it. On this next page I actually have two spreads. I have my YouTube growth spread and my timetable spread underneath. This is because uh, both of them don't really take up a whole page so I don't see the need in wasting a page for each one of them. I don't actually do it in this clip here but for the YouTube growth one I write all the dates of the month and then I'm going to record my sub count on each day and it's basically just something for me to look back on and be like wow I was going really fast. And my timetable, I don't actually have that yet, I don't get it until the 18th of September. So when I get that, I'll obviously fill this out. I've just done it for Monday to Friday because I'm only in uni Monday to Friday and uh, the times are 9am to 6pm. Next we move on to my weekly spreads. I like to have them long and vertical so that I can write to-do lists in them. It's a double page spread so I split each page into four and then I have the seven days of the week and then an extra overview of the week on the last one. Uh, here I am just writing in the days of the week on the overview part. I use this for if I have a shift at work because then I can just put it in there and see it at a glance. All my weekly spreads are the same so I'm only showing you this one and then I do them all in like at the start of the month to save me time because I kind of am short on time most of the time during the semester. And then when I do decorate it but I keep it quite simple to stop me faffing about with it so that's one of my major tips for bullet journaling as a student it's to keep it as simple as possible and to keep it as practical as possible. And here I am just adding the dates next to the days of the week on this spread. Look at my little hanging plant doodle, I'm very proud of it. Yeah, I just wanted to give you an overview of this, like, overview part. Here's just a flip through of the final thing.
So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and bye.